so today we got a 2012 Malibu and it's got a pretty common issue it's that uh, P0010 uh, for the intake cam actuator um, if you're watching this you're probably wondering how to fix that well it's typically the solenoid or dirty oil or the, the <clears throat> screen on the actuator is clogged a lot of times it's the sensor but I don't know let's just figure out what's going on and pinpoint it okay I'm just in the uh, codes menu here so customer concern is for both of these she had these codes read at the local O'Reilly's um, she's got a big drive ahead of her she's driving a couple thousand miles so wants to make sure everything is working properly uh, just real quick, if you go <laughs> over here at Identifix, um, number one problem for this car, known problem, is this DTC. So, we're going to check the actuator solenoid and make sure the resistance checks out. Um, other possibilities, um, like this says, is that... Uh, the, the connector at the ECM or the the sensor so let's get to the bottom of it so this is a perfect example of <clears throat> don't just replace the part um, you know yeah Identifix says for that code you know that's probably the actuator but we gotta check it out um, verify make your customer happy save them some money make you some money if this is your car you're working on um, save you some money and time okay she's crusty and dirty Let's see here so the solenoids under this so we're gonna need to take this engine cover off I believe it just popped up it's gonna follow me. I absolutely hate working on cars with bad hood struts. It is so annoying. So I'm gonna get a little stick or something to hold that up. Had an old jack that failed on me, so just keep those things around. You never know when you could use a breaker bar or just a good pipe. Except we got vacuum line oh I tell you this doesn't look pretty under there these Nipex pliers are fantastic I uh, you know they're they're not that expensive and um, pretty indispensable they get into a lot of tight areas um, found them to be very useful very kind to me It's not pretty down there. That throttle body. And it's leaking oil pretty good. I'm wondering. Like I said, oil condition. I actually haven't checked that yet. I haven't done anything yet. So. I don't know. She said she just had her oil changed. Yeah. Looks. Looks fine. This was a quick lube type place. Um, they said they changed the filter. I'd be curious to look in there. I don't know. I don't see any recent signs of like the last couple days that somebody's been in there. I mean, it's covered in oil and I don't see any like, scratch marks or anything. Um, makes me a little hesitant to believe them out here. A quick lube tune. They said they changed this oil filter yesterday. I'd say they're lying. Um, when you see them collapsing like this, they're typically old. These are those uh, intake cam actuators or intake and exhaust. So obviously we've got our intake on this side and our exhaust on that side towards the back. See all these leaks? Holy 
moly um so this is the one we're getting a code for the intake cam and this one as well so just mentioning all these oil leaks because you know i always like to do a good visual uh, these harnesses are crusty as hell um and it looks like it's all twisted up just think it seems odd i mean the other one is not as bad i don't know you never know if that somebody took it off twist 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 put it back on it kind of pulled the pin up or I don't know that's just my mind racing thinking of possibilities but i'll tell you one thing i do not like these oil leaks um these things are picky dirty oil low oil these ecotech motors um i believe the pcv system is integrated into this valve cover so when i see you know looks like damaged pcv line and you can see somebody did have that off recently do you see the indentation has moved whenever you take a clamp off always put it back in the exact same position or it will leak doesn't matter what it is air water fuel just put it back where it belongs because it's been sitting there for years you move it you're gonna have issues okay so what i'm gonna do now i got them both unplugged i'm gonna be taking resistance measurements from both and compare them to each other. This is my son, Max. Hello. He'll be the cameraman. Okay. So I have some extra arms here. Yep. So when I, when I'm taking the resistance measurements, just keep focused on this meter, okay? Okay. Starting. All right. So I'm gonna check your meter leads. And we're good. It's about what you want to see. Okay, so all right, we're just going to be one on each prong or terminal. We got 29 kilo ohms on that solenoid. That's not good. All right, let's go over here to this exhaust cam solenoid. 11 ohms, so that's spec. You go back over here to this one. 31 kilo, 30, 41 kilo ohms. So we found our issue. We don't need to go any further. So if you can see here, um, <clears throat> first step is check the resistance of the intake camshaft position sealed, position actuator solenoid. Eight to 13 ohms, that's spec. So when you're seeing anything in kilo ohms, that's a lot. That's a lot of resistance in that, on those coil windings in there, in that solenoid. So, but for those of you that do that test and it's normal, um, everything's within spec. Here's those following steps that you should take. Um, there you have it. Okay, well, there you have it. Um, honestly, I was expecting this video to be a lot longer. <laughs> I, was, um, I was thinking maybe it'd be, uh, I don't know. It's usually pretty cut and dry with those, but, um, you know, if it would have been within spec, I would have taken it out. I would have looked at the screen. Um, but it's not so that's your issue and special thanks to our new cameraman maxwell hi. jr hi maybe you've seen you've seen a lot more of him pretty cut and dry diagnostic easy quick um this way i like it <laughs> i quite frankly i was i'm glad it didn't take longer because um got a lot of cars to fix so hope you guys like that video like subscribe hit that bell and i'll see you next time